and these boilers needed a lot of repairs. So um, a lot of the actual annual repairs that could have been done or should have been done were not done in the past. So now we're dealing with that. But we're going to make sure that they're done correctly now, at least while I'm here as a part-time intern. Um, and when they're, you know, when they're repaired, they will work and operate at a higher level of efficiency. But that's not going to stop all of the challenges. You know, they continue to have underground leaks, continue to have problems with service lines, with sewer and storm lines, and those types of things, just because of the age of the property. And um, those challenges are probably going to continue as long as this, you know, this property is occupied. I know there's a plan for the Choice Neighborhood to make this property part of the transition to a Choice Neighborhood uh, grant, which is a part of a HUD program. So we're working toward that goal of helping residents find, you know, alternate housing uh, as they move forward with that. How much money have you spent so far just on the boilers and the heat and hot water? I'd have to get you a number, but if I had to guess, I would say about hundred to two hundred thousand dollars in that range. Just, just this fall. Correct. Yeah, just this fall on the initial repairs. Liberty uh, is a rent they're a renovation and, and a firm that does mold remediation. They're, gonna, they're going into units now. That's why I think getting into these units and really seeing the status of them and the condition of them is an important thing. Uh, during COVID, a lot of a lot of you know units weren't even entered. And about how much is that going to cost? The mold remediation? What's the cost? We're going to have to get into the units to see. You know, right now it's on an as as needed basis, but we're going to have to get into these units to see. And when you remediate, do you actually have to take out the wallboard, or do you do you do some sort of chemical treatment? They would be removing. When they remediate, they'd be removing. So would that displace the residents that have them? And, and uh, the other question I wanted to ask was, do, will you advocate for refunding folks for the government? Like, I've, I've actually, yeah, I, I've, I've actually already made that recommendation to the board, and I'm sure that they'll make that consideration as a rental rebate for, for the issues. So, I thought about what you heard today and, you know, does it give you some hope that finally things are going to be addressed? Yeah, it gives a little hope because like I just, you know, said, they're doing what they can. They're putting their foot on government's neck because it's not them. You know, it's not the mayor. It's not the councilman. It's not the people that work in the office. It's the government. Their hands are tied. They're trying. So people have to give them a little, you know, leeway and let them try to work the best they can. Do you think people will be cooperative and let them let the inspectors in their homes? I will hope so. I will. I think they just tired. That's what I think it is. I think they just tired. Right. You know. So hopefully, hopefully they let them in. And can you describe uh, for us a little bit of the problems that you're dealing with in your unit? Um, I have dealt with mold. I I am dealing with the heat and the hot water situation. You know, but they doing the best they can. That's it. We have to deal with it until they can get government. Like I said, it's the government, it's, it's our congressmen, it's our senators, it's them. They need to back our mayor up and, and our councilmen up to give it a chance. That's it. Mm -hmm. And you had spoken before about how many seniors are in- Yeah, it's a lot. I live around a lot of seniors. Uh -huh. I live around a lot of seniors. So I don't know how many seniors per se is around here. But it's a lot of seniors and it's a lot of yeah, young like girls with little there. babies with the mold issue. You know, it's okay. not fair. Like, Which is awesome. But like I said, for how long? How long are we going to have this nice toasty weather? As you guys, I mean, heat. As you guys can see, we got air conditioners in our windows. Most of us have air conditioners in our windows year round because when the winter time do come and we do have heat, it's extremely hot. To the point where we got to have air conditioners on or our fans on. And that's one of the things that the housing authority is saying. You have to get these out of your window in order to seal up the apartment to be efficient, right? Right. And not lose heat. But I don't know how they want us to seal up our apartments when half of our windows don't work properly anyway. Perfect example, this one. I could go to close this window. I could close this window, but at times, like it's a certain way that I would have to actually push on it to make it stay in a in, in a closed position. Because there's been times where part of it will be open. Uh -huh. Even when, when you push down as hard as you can. Correct. So. We okay. never know. We don't we don't control our heat. Yeah, I was gonna say we you don't have a thermostat. No, we don't we don't control our heat. Mm. We don't control no hot water. We know when it comes on because the heat is supposed to come on October 15th. 
So we do know when the heat is coming on, but we don't have no control over our heat whatsoever. None whatever. The contractors came out, the contractors done gave me some special mold spray to wipe down and just wipe the issue down or wipe the issue off or whatever case may be, which I do. But in all reality, we shouldn't even have to be subject to even doing that. We shouldn't have to worry about wiping mold down. Now, in our bathrooms, that's different because simple fact is steam. You're, it, you're automatically going to get that. But everywhere else to wash your house, you shouldn't have to worry about wiping mold down or windows and everything. We shouldn't have to worry about this on here. And this came from me having this sitting right here, which is mold over here now. Because they came in here to fix the situation that I had mold and it was not fixed properly. So I have mold that's in here as well. It's mold right there. This is a spot here that always seems to get molded. All they do is come in here and wipe it off. And that's exactly why I'll, I'll wipe it off myself instead of even calling them okay, about to break up in the morning because it's so hot in here. It's a lot of moisture along his window sills. You guys can see the mold along the window sills. It's all on, on the metal part, mold. Mold up there on the windowsill. 